Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Supervisor Bailey's over here, barely in the picture. But, uh, got a job today. I'm doing a replication, kind of, of this part. It's got to be uh, 12 inches by 15 and a half, according to what I've been told. This used to be a lamination piece. You can kind of see where these stud spacers were in between this and it, it made it three quarters of an inch thick without it actually being three quarters of an inch thick. It was kind of a cheap way to do it. So what I'm doing is making a new mount that won't be all broke up and tore up like this one. All the holes are clearance holes so there's nothing super critical about it. I'm going to just take the bandsaw and cut this off and then we'll take it into the mill and uh, mill out the inner circle and put the bolt pattern in it and this ought to be ready to go. So let me fire the machines up and we'll get to it. Well, I don't know many of the fancy tools that you see a lot of the other guys on the channels have, so I'm kind of prone to working with what I have on hand. And I kind of want to find the center of this plate. It's nothing super, super, super critical. We don't need to be within a thousandth, but you know, within a sixteenth of an inch would be good. So what I'm gonna do is the method of intersecting arcs to find the center of this. I know how long the plate is, so what I want to do is use my calipers at a slightly longer than halfway point and I'm going to try and scratch on here and I'll try and highlight it so maybe you can see it because I barely see these scratch marks so I'm set at 8 inch I know you can't see it, I barely can. We'll go down just over six and do this way. So it's the intersection points, that's my straight line.
hopefully you can see that there the intersection of these two straight lines which are the intersection of these arcs that I made off of the ends is the center point of this plate you might say well Brian why would you bother to do that when you can just measure down the side halfway and then come across an answer is that's in case this plate is skewed and if it's not cut perfectly square if it's this uh, helps to eliminate transferring any of that error of it not being square into finding the center of the plate so it kind of averages it out which is good for fabrication work because that's about as good as you're going to get for most fabrication work is just kind of work with a bunch of averages and hope it all adds up to something that's within spec so that's how i've done this now all i gotta do is bring a pointer over here point it to the center and that's going to be good enough to get my center lined up and then I can come out here and uh, run my end mill around and cut this piece out and hopefully not break the end mill in the process. It's always a risky business tree panning with end mills. But uh, now it is. You like to save as much of a good piece as you can in hopes that you can use it again someday. So, Plus, I got the rotor table on here and it's always fun to get to use it. So that's what we're going to do. It'd be good application for tree painting and the lathe too would be ideal to do this but uh, i don't have a tree painting tool for that either so we'll use what i got let me get this lined up and i'll bring you back
Well, here it is, another piece of Americana saved. Got a nice weldment to go in and repair this gearbox. This was the pattern I was given. And as you can see, it's a good match. So I'll get this to the customer and they can get their machine fixed and save a couple thousand dollars and that's always good. So I hope you enjoyed this little rotary table project, getting this knocked out. I knew better than to listen to anybody that uh, I work with that runs CNC machines to try and tree pan that out. I kind of knew that, that was going to end up with a broken cutter. But I only broke one, so that's not too bad. And they're small ones. They're not some of my big end mills that are $100 a piece. So, you know, those are probably 10 bucks. So, this goes into the price of doing the job. Maybe next time I'll, I need to be on the lookout for a uh, tree painting piece for the lathes because I think that would be the best way to do something like this if you're going to try and save the piece out of the inside. Which I do have a nice sluggo how the inside I did save so always got that mm -hmm. see the centering lines on there the method I used to find the center of that plate so I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'll catch y'all later